Sandy Charles with Baseball Census, and I'm joined by Astros prospect Kyle Tucker. Okay, we cannot talk about it and have an interview without asking not only draft day, but you were drafted by the same team your brother was drafted by. What was that like? Uh, it was awesome. Um, I mean, he was playing during the draft, but they had a rain out, so he was able to go back in the locker room and congratulate me. And you know, having that was awesome. And you know, being in the same organization, I can see him a lot more and, uh, during spring training, and I can keep up with him a little bit easier during the season. So it's awesome. How much do you talk during the season? Um, not that much. Um, we kind of just do our own thing. But you know, I'll, I'll keep up with him. He could, keeps up with me, but um, I'll talk to him every now and then. What kind of advice has he been able to give to you? Um, it's just you know, don't try and you know impress everyone. Yeah. Um, just go out and do your own thing. You'll, you'll be fine. Now you went to the same high school that Wade Boggs went to. How cool was that? What was that like going to a high school where a Hall of Famer went? Yeah, it's kind of cool. There's a plaque um, right next to the dugout of him, and you know that's kind of awesome. You can see that every day. And then he coaches at one of the high schools we played, so you know we got to see him whenever we played them. So it, it was kind of cool. Now, is it true? Correct me if I'm wrong. You were compared to Ted Williams in high school. Is that true? <laughs> um, I've heard that. Yeah. Um, I guess. Is that an honor? Like, how do you live up to that? Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, I don't think you can live up to that, right? but yeah, you kind of just go out and do your own thing, and you know, you'll be fine. You don't try and you know try and replicate what other people try to do. You just got to do your own thing. Yeah. A Florida guy growing up in Florida, you got to play in the Futures game in front of your home state. How cool was that? Yeah, that was awesome. Um, my parents drove down, a couple friends drove down, and you know, being able to go back to Florida was awesome. And. You know, I had a great time there. It was a great experience. Now, you showed some tremendous power last season, 25 home runs. Did you change anything about your swing? Um, I just try to, you know, get back to what I normally do and just try and tr drive the ball and hit the ball in front and, you know, be early and, you know, work out. Is there anything at Arizona Fall League that you're looking or hoping to work on? Um, mainly just, you know, kind of, you know, controllers like strikes on a little bit better. Um, you know, I could could have done that a lot better this year and you know I think that's a big thing stepping forward in some of the rest of my career so I think that's the number one thing for me here. Now you did say that everyone tries to play their own way but is there anyone that you maybe mimic your game after and you look up to? Um, mostly my brother. Yeah. Um, you know I, I've watched him you know his whole time playing and, you know I've been around him the most and you know he's had success so why not try and you know kind of incorporate some of his game into mine so you know that's kind of the you know biggest person I kind of myself Now right now around the club it's an exciting time all the homegrown talent you know continually uh, making strides are you continually watching and keeping up with the games right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah I mean we'll we have TVs in here watching the postseason so yeah. we'll, we'll keep up with them and I'll see them on Twitter the post feeds and stuff and so you know it's awesome watching them play and you know the Astros are doing well right now but um you know hopefully they can get to the World Series. Hopefully they can finish it off thank you so much and best of luck at AFL I'm Sandy Charles with Baseball Census.